is pull together uh, the really reputable developers in our city and have an advisory panel meet monthly. How is your application progressing? What are we doing wrong at the city? What, what's slowing you down? That's important. Number two, the, uh, the small things like fourplexes and backyard residences aren't going to do, do the trick. I support them, but they're not going to make a big difference. The big difference is going to be to find areas of land that you can rezone. For example, um, Heartland has a big section of the plaza where the stores aren't doing as well because people use Amazon since COVID. And they've showed me a plan that is incredible. It's going to put in mid-rise towers, a lovely green walkway through the middle, uh, leave some stores, leave some offices. That's what we need to do, rezoning. I also have up uh, Highway 10, 163 acres that are zoned office. And you know, well, we're not renting offices anymore. People are working from home. Those are the big changes you have to do to get this to work. Just on that is, what is sort of the plan to get more affordable rentals in the market as well? Well, I'll go back yeah. to the 163 acres on Highway 10. The first probably 30 acres are in the flight path, so they will have to stay industrial. Mm -hmm. But when you call the developers in, each one by one, uh, you know when they bought that land, they didn't pay much for it. And you sit them down and you say, you're zoned office and you're not building for 20 years. If you are willing to put in affordable rental or affordable purchase condos based on the fact your land was so cheap, then I would be happy to ask council to rezone that for you. And we have to get signed agreements. We can't have any smart tricks. Like, right, yeah, yeah we, we got it rezoned and now we've changed our minds. So that'll be taken care of. Okay. Um, some of the cities we're seeing are introducing a vacant home tax. Is that something that you would be looking or your um, council would look into? It's not up to us, it's up to the region. Right. And the region looked at it and I don't think it's worthwhile to go through the difficulties Toronto just went through because you have to educate people that, especially snowbirds, that if you're away for six months, if you're one month over, you, you've got to pay the tax. Um, the notification system they had in Toronto was complex. In the end, our, our fairly qualified uh, advisors at the region said they didn't think it would be worthwhile to do. So we have not done it, but I can always look at it again. Fair.